Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I hope you are all well. Um, and today I have a unboxing, or an unpackaging rather, because it's not actually in a box. Um, so you know, um, I'll start unwrapping this. Um, you know when you see a deck originally, and you're like, no, no, you don't like it, you're not keen on the artwork, and then months later, years later, you look at it again and you're like, ooh, that's really pretty. That's what happened with this deck. So it is an oracle deck, it's not a tarot deck. Oh. <laughs> so um, let's see if we can get this bad boy open. But uh, yeah. So I wasn't um, particularly um, enamoured with it at the time, but um, I, I came across the artwork again and I was like, I really, really would like to have that. Um, and more often than not, when I decide that I would like something, I normally find it on eBay, which seems possible, but I always find it at a price that I can afford, because with Christmas coming up, um, I like to, I try not to spend too much money on myself, <clears throat> ignore the last couple of videos, uh, but they were just cheap books. So I found it on eBay used for a price that was just right for, for my, me. Um, Oh, wrapped in tissue paper. Okay, so <clears throat> it is the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by DV. Because I know there is um, a few of these. There's Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, I think. Um, and I've had a look at those as well. And currently, they're not, the artwork's not pulled me in. So it's probably not something I'm going to invest in, uh, at least this side of Christmas anyway. So, um, Actually, no, that's that's bull, because I had a look at the Gabriel ones, and I'm like, ooh, I like those. Was it the Gabriel ones? See, I'm really rubbish today. I am rubbish. So, um, the cover design and the cover art, um, Brian Star Best and Marius Michael George. So, it's Hay House, so the Hay House box, with the little book, and it should be 44 cards, which I will hit the laptop um so she is probably one of the chunkier books that i've got following a couple of new purchases from um of decks for dv so let me just pause this while i count the cards and we're in luck there is 44 so um these are used um so we have the the gold edging um, where some of it's frayed here, but I always find even when I'm buying them new, that happens because they kind of rattle about in the box. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about them, but at the time they pulled to me, and as I've mentioned previously, um, I'm kind of um, exploring that side of things. So sorry, My husband just made it and it's hot, and I have to drink it hot. So um, I don't have double glazing. So if you can hear people outside, I'm sorry, but. They're really nice people. So anyway, we move on. So the back of the cards is, this is a really gorgeous image. Not so keen on the front image, but we'll give it a go. So this is you and your loved ones are safe and they have prayers on them. So this is, sorry, the light is so-so. Let's see if we can get up really close. Uh, no, you can't really see it. Big border, big border, so. Um, it's very colourful. So just to give you a indication, uh, it says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And then in brackets it says, it says name specific individuals. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a health, a healthful, How's it healthful? I'm I am reading that right. Healthful. I've never heard of healthful. Healthy and happy life. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Um so I I love the colours. I do love the colours. Shall we shall we see what else is on offer? Oh I'm sorry, don't put them on. So, focus upon divine and perfect health. I like this image. 
And as I've said previously, in my videos, if you watch them, especially when it comes to oracle cards, if I'm reading for myself and I'm not particularly um, keen on the message of a card, I won't put it in the deck. Although this is nice. This is nice. So just because sometimes they don't they don't apply to my life, um, they don't resonate. Um, obviously, I'm sure that can be considered a bit like, but then you're taking away an option for a message. Yeah, perhaps. But sometimes instead of not working with a whole deck, like, if I get a deck, because bear in mind, I've only seen a couple of images. If I don't like the deck and there's a couple in there that I'm like, oh, no, they just don't fit. Well, I can't use it now because I don't really get on with those cards. Just take them out. I do. That's just me. Oh, this is nice. Decide to be happy now. That's, I, yes. Yes. Come on, guys. Decide to be happy now. I love that. And I love the art. And I'm sure it tells me in the book about the art. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so the artwork is all done by different people, so that's that's grand. I do like it when other people get a chance to really showcase. Oh, that one's lovely. Sorry, the energy healing work. Mm. Yes, yeah, see, I think I think um, so far I'm doing okay. I think they're nice. Sorry. Oh, lovely D. Oh, this one's lovely. Use your imagination and you'll see the answers. Oh, that's so nice. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Oh, okay, now this, it's, you see, he's holding a kingfisher. I love kingfishers. They're my thing. Funny enough, I'll show you. I'm making for sure. Hmm. Oh, wow. New beginnings and fresh start. This I love. Sorry, let's give you a... So, thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience those life changes. So, um, I won't obviously go through all the prayers. I'm more interested in the artwork, but give you a flavour. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. That's nice. So, I do have a few angel decks. I have um, my Ambika deck. I have um, two DV decks. And I think that's the only... Oh, and the Dark Angels. But that's the Tarot. Um, and I think this is the first time that I've had, like, the chunk of writing... Yes, um, the others do have it, but they're more like affirmations, whereas these um, are prayers, can be used as affirmations, I'm sure, but, so it's interesting. I like it, I do like them. So God is in charge. Is he now? interesting I like it. I like the art I really do your home is protected by angels oh what a pretty little house with the fat cottage roof oh detach from the situation I think you can get quite a lot from this you know the the artwork is visually appealing um for the most part um and the wording's good. Honour and trust your feelings. I don't know about you guys, but when I see a cube, I'm like, Metatron has a cube. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. What else do we have? Lean on God and the angels for support. Have a very, very rugged angel here. Guarded and protected. Okay. It's a lot of glare. These are Hay House cards, so they're quite glossy. Um, yeah. Well, go forward fearlessly. Mm. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Hmm. 
Oh, sorry, that lighting is a bit shabby. But some of the artwork, because they're angels, they're not quite there. So they're quite um, um, faded as they are. Be gentle with yourself. I think I know the artist for this one. Hold on. Let me pause so you're not bored. So that one is by Carol Heyer. And actually, I, I don't know her. But I thought I did, but she um she is a screenwriter, so that is cool. Hmm. I really like that image though. Write about your thoughts and feelings. <clears throat> Just go from the back. You are on the right path. Ah, so we've got the handsome looking angel guy again with a smaller child in this one. Let me just show you. Not keen on the child's face, but that hair is Brian May worthy. Pay attention to your dreams. He's so cute. So I, I like that. Colourful again. Some of the cards are different colours. I don't know if that was intentional. They're all kind of different shades of blues and purples. This situation is already resolved. That's it. Say it in the present moment. Sorry, I'm getting really slow through this deck. I suppose it's a lot to take in. I like that. I like that a lot. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. Okay, so I really like the um, the artwork and the message. I'm not entirely sure personally that they go together. Perhaps they do. Make a commitment. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Come on, let's speed this up. Shield yourself. I love this. Love this. Explore your options. Easier than done sometimes. Again, really nice. Really nice. Spend more time outdoors. I'm not keen on this one. Your children are watched over by angels. See, this is one card I'd probably remove for myself because I don't have children. Prayer will help this situation. Okay, have confidence. Take your time making this decision. So currently what's happening is Harry doesn't want to get in the car. He often doesn't want to get in the car. Let's just give him a moment. Oh, oh. He's such a sweet boy. He's such a sweet boy. I think he's okay. Well, no, I know he's okay. His mum and dad are lovely. He just doesn't want to get in the car. That's going to be really awkward if you didn't actually hear anything that was going on outside because you're going to be like, she on about. Romance angels are helping you. <laughs> Self-respect. I have a Buddha angel or a monk angel. I'm not sure, but the robes and the um, the symbol do intend. I love the wings. The wings are awesome. A favourable outcome. No, I don't like that card. I don't like that. The, the artwork. I don't like the message. Believe and trust. I like this one. I think it's by the same person that did the first card that I was unsure of because look at those colours. I mean, you... <laughs> doesn't really do it justice. I do need a proper camera, but money. Why save up for a camera when I can spend money on decks? The person you're asking about is trustworthy, which only helps if I'm asking about a person, doesn't it, really? Sometimes I like my oracle decks to be vague. <laughs> Innocence. Oh, he's holding a puppy. <gasps> yes. Oh, wow. Positive thoughts create positive results. The face is not quite there for me, but there is, again, no denying that colour. That is gorgeous. Sense of humour. Let's speed this up. Let's keep it. Keep it short. Keep your eyes 
on your targeted intention. Yeah, I like that. This is your life's purpose. Ooh. I like this. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I like that. That's a heavy one for sure. All right, last two people. Let go of fear now. An eternal love. Oh, look at that card. I would order that. It does say in the book how long you can order it. That is awesome. Hmm. All right, then. I did this a while ago, and I know a lot of people do it, and I I, I kind of half did it and then stopped doing it. So let's uh, see how they shuffle. Because they are big. They're oracle cards, they tend to be. Yeah, too bad. I love that. That sound. I told you I ordered another deck. <laughs> Got another one coming at some point. Alright guys, let's see what DB's got to say if you care to hear what she has to say from the book. So, you're on the right path. Shall we see? Don't have to, I'm only doing it because I haven't done it in ages. You've drawn this card as validation that your thoughts and actions are in the right direction towards achieving your life's purpose and inner peace. You've been carefully listening to your guidance from within and the angels applaud you for following it faithfully. Although you may not clearly see what's up ahead, the angels want you to know that they're guiding and protecting you every step of the way. Keep up the good work. So, possible specific meanings. It's a good time to begin a new project, start a business, pick up a book or make a positive lifestyle change. Listen to your inner guidance, even if others don't understand. Trust that you're financially supported as you move forward with your plans. And then I think the prayer is the same. Yeah, then it has the prayer in the book as it does on the card. So, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. How have I never heard of healthful? I don't know. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> quick Google shirt search shows me according. Let's move that there. Apparently, so helpful is describes something that will cause um that will create good health. So yoga, certain foods, exercise, helpful. So that's cool. I learned today. Um I've never used that word before. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I realised that I've been waffling for like almost 20 minutes and I really appreciate you being along for the ride. If you've got the deck, let me know what you think. I'm excited to actually have a go at it. Um, it may or may not resonate with me, but I will always pass it. I will never pass it on. I won't. I won't. There's no point in bullshitting. Um, I, I would like to think if it doesn't resonate, I will eventually pass it on. Anyway, guys, take care, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you.